Hey everybody, Jabman025 here. Today I'm taking a look at one of my older Magic Raids, the Black TriStar Zaku. This is the 1.0 version of this kit. This is from the series Mobile Suit Gundam, and this was a requested review. Happy to take requests from my older kit, so let's have a look and see what we got. Now, first thing when you open this kit out of the box, you're going to notice one major league issue here. Not everything's colored right. See here on the legs, all that black section, you know, the extra armor around the legs that's black. Yeah, that's all painted. Uh, you got to paint all that. All that's got to be painted black, which is really rare for these type of kits. It comes white, just like the rest of the legs do. Why? I have no idea, because in every picture, it is black. This is one of those, when I cracked open the box, I was like, oh, something's got to be wrong here. But no, they all come like that. Another thing you notice on this kit is the nubs are ridiculously bad. But granted, this is an early master grade, but wow, they're bad. Really bad. <laughs> uh, more painting. you got some red to paint on the legs and, of course, on the thrusters on the bottom. But even in modern day master grades, you got to do that. So I'm not going to hold that big of a grudge on that one. Posability, elbows suck. Uh, hands are pretty good. Good wrist, three one and then thumb. The shoulders are actually pretty good too. You get some good movement out of that. But boy, do the elbows suck. The knees are awful. I mean, just awful. Uh, that extra armor on the bottom of the leg really does not help. In fact, it hampers a lot, and the hips are hideous. But again, this is a real one of the early, early master grades. The head's great. You can move the head anywhere you want, side to side, up and down, all sorts of great. Movement. Get that latch that opens up. So, yeah, head, awesome. Everything else, not so much. Because the elbow is a just simple little plug and polycap, it's easy to twist, and the wrists are real good. Ankles are also surprisingly good, but you're not going to be using them a whole much, and I'll talk about that in a bit. The cables occasionally want to pop off, especially on the chest area, but that's not a big issue. It doesn't happen too often. And occasionally the shoulder armor wants to pop off, but again, not too often. Decals on this kit are actually pretty good. You get that O2 in a couple of different places. The Zaku, the, sh the logos, the you know, the, the uh, serial numbers on the backpack. Lots of good decals, especially for an early kit. Could use some better ones, but I'm not going to hold it against it for an older kit like this. But it does have a good look to it, I'll give it that. Once you have everything done, when you have all the nubs cleaned up, you've done all the painting you need to do, and you get everything detailed, it does look really good just standing there. Which is good, because that's all you're going to have this thing doing. The posing is so bad, you're going to pretty much have this guy stand on a shelf and just standing there. There's no real action pose with this guy, there's not a whole lot to it. The last to see the cockpit, this whole thing opens up, and like, like the modern Master Grade Zaku's, where there's doors that slide open, so this thing opens up, you can see the pilot, and you get this little latch up here at the top of the head, big whoop, but it's nice that it's there, I guess, but yeah, if it's just standing there, this kit looks pretty cool, which is good, because that's all it's going to ever do, you get one pilot figure, I always thought it was going to be, you know, one of three, but no, every single time you get Moosh, not a big deal, but I would have kind of liked to see some more uh, different figures, which I know you can track down. The, all three of the black tri stars, accessories, extra hands, two open style, two fists. That's nice. They throw in those. The heat hawk, which is actually molded in purple, and two point can't seem to figure out how to do that. Little painting is required here. I didn't ever paint the cable. You got to paint the end red. It has a little clip on it. It can hook onto the side skirt. And you can hold it without much issue. Looks good. The Gatling gun. This is awkward to send to pose with. If you get it just in the right way, it can hold it all right. But any kind of real action he poses with this, it's not really happening. This is just a hazard of all the old early Zakus. I always had trouble with this. The Zaku Bazooka, however, works just fine. No, po no, no balance issues. No connection issues, put it wherever you want, either hand, no problem whatsoever. They do give you a neat little option here with the bazooka. You get the standard front part of the bazooka with a scope with a hole in the middle. I always thought, maybe I missed some clear piece, but no, there never was a clear piece. 
and two back ends on the bazooka so you can have your option of what kind of loading mechanism you want. And that's kind of neat. I would have liked to see more options like that in future Master Raids, but it didn't happen. So you get your choice of whatever kind of bazooka you want. One with the launcher off to the side or the more traditional. Final thoughts on this kit. Some of the older Master Grades have some nostalgic value. They have some, you know, intrinsic collector value to us, you know, heavy time Master Raid collectors. This is not one of those kits. Uh, I got this kit because I found it cheap in my local hobby store, and even though I found it cheap, I still wish I hadn't got it. Is it the worst Master Grade I've ever built? <laughs> no. But it's still pretty bad. There's all sorts of problems. There's lots of painting you got to do, lots of detailing work you got to do. And when you finally get all that, you get a pretty much a brick kit. It stands there, holds one weapon, looks all right. Just not worth it. So, as you can probably guess, no thumbs up for me. If you really want a black TriStar Zaku, there is a 2.0. Get that kit. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. Hope you found it informative. If you got any questions, ask them. I'll answer the best I can. Please leave a comment. You guys know I love reading them. And stay tuned for more. Always got more reviews coming. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Anyone else think these guys should be named Larry, Moe, and Curly? Just saying.